this door here now closes pretty well. Before, when it would shut, it did shut, but it, would, it was hitting the trim. And that's because the frame, I guess, was a little crooked, or the, maybe it was just the door. You notice how these hinges here are flush, flush with the woodwork. What I did was I got a flathead screwdriver and hammer. I chiseled away, and like I removed this hinge, chis chiseled it, and you see it's sunk a little bit, and that straightened the door out. While I'm at it, I'm gonna fix this one too. The other one was only hitting in the top, but this one is hitting in the middle. Like the, the top and bottom have clearance, but the middle is touching. So I'm gonna sink all three of them on this door. We just want the hinges to be sunk a little deeper than they currently are. Got a little more. All right, I've already done the middle and top hinges, so basically I'm taking the flathead screwdriver, hammering it a little bit, and cracking it away. Like that. See that big piece? I'm gonna keep chiseling away. Doesn't have to be completely perfect, I'm just trying to sink the hinges a bit. Alright, about 10 minutes later, I got it pretty well. I keep the other hinges connected so I don't have to take the whole door off. Now you see I put it back in, and now that's where it was. Now I gotta sink the hinge first. Gotta make sure the door's open. There, back into the hole. And it doesn't look that bad, it's just sunk a like twice as deep as it was. And now, when we're done, the door should not hit anymore. I don't think these screws are long enough for this. All right, those two went in tight. That one right there is stripping out. All righty, top one sunk. Middle one sunk, and the bottom one, I probably sunk that one the most. Got a bunch of wood chips to clean up, but it closes perfectly now. No more hitting. Now it closes as it should. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.